Pedro Pascal is set to have one of the best four months probably anyone's ever had in TV or even Hollywood. You know, currently starring in The Last of Us for nine weeks, and then Mandalorian will overlap The Last of Us for eight weeks. It's incredible that the third season is coming in March on the 1st, hitting Disney+. Plus. And of course, the trailer is here. So let's talk about everything that dropped in the trailer and let's give our thoughts on what we think. Subscribe, like as always, and enjoy. So the third trailer is, the third season trailer is here, of course, Grogu and Mando back after reuniting in the Book of Boba Fett. Just a disclaimer, you know, people have been saying, oh, the marketing for this has been a bit confusing. For those who only watched season two and didn't watch Boba Fett, are going to be confused how Grogu is back. It's a simple case. He introduced Boba Fett in season two to give him his show so people would watch it. If you haven't watched Boba Fett, it's on you. It's nothing to do with the marketing team. The marketing team has done perfect, and you've had plenty of time to watch those seven episodes of Boba Fett. So there is the clarity on that. The trailer looks awesome. Um, obviously... Um, it's awesome to see Carl Weathers' his character back. He's built this town up. He's established himself as the leader. Um, you know, all the characters we've known. There's that scientist who works in Moff, Moff Gideon. He's back. Uh, there was battle droids. There was that little, um, little creature who saved C-3PO and Rise of Skywalker. You had the little creature from Return of the Jedi. You had loads of little nods to little films. Um, like I said, Moff Gideon is set to return, but he was obviously not shown in the trailer. We go to Mandalore, Man, uh, Mandor, Mandalore, what have you pronounced it? Um, you see a load of Mandalorians in this trailer fighting, you know, falling from the sky, working together. It looks like it's going to be a very intense season. Um, you know, we're seeing Grogu use his ability Naturally, now he's fully with the force after training with Luke. Um, more Order 66 um, flashbacks, obviously, from Grogu's point of view, I'm guessing. As the camera was quite short, and you could tell there was a bit of something over the top of his head. Of his head. So you could tell it's Grogu in his little cylinder thing. Um, so, yeah, it's going to be really cool to see more Order 66 stuff. Whether we'll see, like, Anakin... You know, or just general stormtroopers will be intriguing, uh, to say the least, because obviously Hayden's been doing a lot more filming recently, so whether he's done a few scenes of this will remain to be seen. Um, But yeah, I think the tone of it looks cool. I think the fact he wants to go to Mandalore to prove his innocence, to apologise for what he's done, to basically get back on the track of his people. And I just think, you know, this trailer sets a tone. You know, it seems like it's going to be really calm with all the scenes of Carl Weathers' character. Um, and then he's going to be like, I need to go on this quest, I need to go on this journey. And yeah, that's going to be like the, the, the rest of the season. Um, and obviously, bo will claim and want the Darksaber at some point. We know Moff Gideon will attempt to get it back. So it's going to be a temp tense season and very much all for it what are your thoughts from the trailer are you excited that the fact like you know little things like battle droids or that we saw the little creatures from return of general as skywalker the, 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 putting little easter eggs in there to get people excited who enjoy those films you know the score's always been amazing the visuals the costumes the characters as i said pedro pascal doesn't do anything wrong in anything he does at the moment he's a brilliant actor he brings these characters to life in such a fun way and I'm 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 more I'm here for Grogu's development to see him continue to grow, and whether he'll be more involved in the battle scenes remains to be seen. So I'm excited to see what John Favreau and the rest of the team have put together this season. Hope you're excited as I am, and I will be reviewing the series every week, of course, when it drops on Wednesdays, I believe. So stick around for more trailers, promotions, and all that sort of stuff coming very soon to the channel. As always, subscribe and like. Goodbye. Thank you.